Apple is back at it again and this time, they're not holding back. On September 9th, the company is officially hosting its next big event. And while the iPhone 17 will naturally steal the spotlight, there's another product that, in my opinion, deserves just as much hype, maybe even more. I'm talking about the Apple Watch Ultra 3, and trust me, this is not just another minor refresh. If you've been waiting for the first real leap forward in Apple's smartwatch lineup, this might just be it. Welcome back to channel Apple's announcements always get the tech world buzzing. But this year, the Ultra 3 is shaping up to be the star of the show. Since its debut in 2022, the Ultra line has catered to serious athletes, adventurers, and anyone who wanted the toughest and most feature-packed Apple Watch on their wrist. But after the Ultra 1 and a modest Ultra to update, many fans have been asking when is Apple really going to push things forward? Well, the answer seems to be now. Today, I'm breaking down every major upgrade coming with the Ultra 3 display changes, battery life improvements, 5G connectivity, satellite messaging, health sensors, pricing, and more. And by the end, you'll understand why I believe this might end up being Apple's most recommended product of 2025. Let's start with the most obvious change the display. Apple is sticking with the same rugged 49mm footprint, but thanks to slimmer bezels, you're getting a noticeably larger screen. The resolution jumps from 410 by 500 to pixels to about 420 to by 514. Now, on paper, that doesn't sound huge. But on a smartwatch, every pixel counts. Imagine upgrading from a small hotel TV to a slightly bigger one you wouldn't think it matters. Until you're suddenly watching Netflix and realize, oh wow, this feels much better. The screen will also be slightly larger diagonally round 51 to 50 to millimeters, making this one of the biggest smartwatch displays ever, while still staying compatible with your existing Apple Watch. Bands, but the real upgrade here isn't just size, it's the tech inside. Apple is using an LTPO3 old panel, which supports refresh rates from 1 Hz all the way to 120 Hz. Translation, super smooth animations, buttery scrolling, and a more efficient always-on display. And then there's the curve, like the upcoming Apple Watch Series 10. The Ultra 3 will use a wide-angle old design with slightly curved glass edges. It's a small trick, but it creates a premium waterfall effect that hides bezels and makes the watch feel more immersive. Honestly, if you thought your old Ultra already looked sharp, the Ultra 3 is going to make it feel a little outdated dot now. Here's where things get exciting. For the very first time, the Apple Watch Ultra is getting 5G support. Up until now, every Ultra has been stuck on LTE. That meant decent connectivity, but not blazing fast. With 5G, not only will you get faster speeds and more reliable coverage, but it also unlocks one of the coolest new features satellite messaging. Think about this, you're hiking in the mountains, no cell signal in sight, but with the Ultra 3, you'll be able to send SOS texts through satellites. This feature has been a lifesaver on the iPhone, and now it's making its way to the watch. It's basically Apple saying, go climb that mountain, get lost in the desert, we've got you covered. For adventurers, this is a genuine game changer. Health tracking has always been a cornerstone of Apple Watch, and the Ultra 3 is doubling down. Now, Apple is still dealing with legal issues around its blood oxygen sensor. But thanks to updates in iOS 26, you'll still be able to view your oxygen levels though only on your iPhone. Not directly on the watch, not perfect, but at least. The data isn't going away, but the real headline is blood pressure notifications, no? This won't replace a proper medical device. But it can alert you when your blood pressure trends to high or to low. Think of it as the friend who says, hey, maybe you should get that checked. For people managing hypertension or health risks, that's incredibly valuable. And honestly, I'd rather my watch overreact a little than underreact when it comes to my health. Dot, of course, what's an Ultra without killer battery life? The Ultra to already lasts about 36 hours normally and up to 60 hours in low power mode. But with the Ultra 3, Apple is stepping it up again. Thanks to a bigger internal battery and the brand new S11 chip, we're looking at 48 hours of regular. Use in up to 70 to 80 hours in low power mode dot and if Apple really delivers a rumored 100 hour option. Well, that's the kind of headline that could dominate the smartwatch market. Remember, Apple watches are basically mini iPhones on your wrist. Getting even the full days of power is a big leap forward. Especially when competitors brag about a week long battery but run on far less powerful software. On the outside, Apple is keeping things familiar. Expect the same to finishes. Natural. 
Titanium and black titanium. No flashy new colors this year, but with the updated design, larger screen, and premium feel, it still feels fresh. The price should stay the same to $799 for the cellular model. Pre-orders kick off on September 12th, with official delivery starting September 19th. So if you're already saving up, now you know when to get your wallet ready. So Here's the bottom line, the Apple Watch Ultra 3 is bringing a bigger and more immersive display. Next level 5G and satellite features, smarter health tracking, improved performance with the S11 chip, and longer battery life all while sticking to that familiar $799 price tag. For me, this isn't just Apple's best watch yet it might actually be their best product of 2025, a perfect mix of design, practicality, and innovation. But what about you? Are you planning to upgrade to the Ultra 3, or are you happy sticking with your current model? Drop your thoughts in the comments side, love to hear your take. And hey, if you enjoy deep dives into a plain G Min 5 Pro, make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications. That way, you won't miss my upcoming breakdown of the iPhone 17 lineup. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you in the next one. Make sure to check out the videos popping up on screen right now for more Apple insights.